Welcome back to Enshrouded. In the last episode, we did a whole lot of adventure up north over here and scaled the ancient spire of Revelwood, finished the Hunter's Hand Spindle quest, found the chest for the blacksmith, and a few more quests there. And today, I am hoping to head in this direction a little bit with some of these quests to do a little more exploring in the forest of Revelwood. It's so beautiful, and then I'd love to do some streams uh, afterward to try to scope around for some nice building locations to settle down with a nice, like, hobbit house foresty village, and then possibly some other cool locations for later in the game. So yeah, that's the agenda for today, and with that said, I wanted to go ahead and craft a few things with the NPCs. First being, I noticed we have the medium backpack unlocked at the Hunter now. Now that we have linen, so of course I'm going to be crafting that because that'll add a whole nother eight slots to my inventory. Check this out. Boom. Perfect. So that'll be nice. And then I can go ahead and just deposit my old backpack over here. And then I also wanted to check in with the carpenter who I've moved back over here just to make things easier. I wanted to make this kiln. And to do that, we need a lump of clay. And I think I know where to get the clay from. So I think I wanted to go ahead and try that at least. Um, yeah, we need shroud sack, all sorts of other stuff for the advanced glider too, which I'll have to figure out where to get. But yeah, let's go ahead and make that kiln. And I think for clay, uh, we can mine it in the forest of Revelwood. So I'm going to go ahead and travel to the cozy little forest cabin that I built and see if I can find some clay. Because I think it was on some of the cliff sides, some of the yellowish uh textured things i think we actually had some like right next to the house here yeah i think it's this i think this either is clay or copper but i think the copper looked a little more greenish so let me go ahead and try this yay there we go lump of clay look at that and we unlocked the fired brick officially at the kiln so yeah that's what we need the kiln for Ooh, and a clay jug and more dishes and things that's really cool Alright, so I'll just grab some of this. Ooh, look at that! New roof tiles out of it? That's amazing! Alright. So yeah, I'll just try and grab a, a bit of this. That's probably enough for what we need. And then head back over to our other house. See how much we officially need to build the kiln there. Here we go. I should have everything. And there is the kiln. So let's bring that into my hotbar. And put it right, let's see, maybe is that another outside thing? Maybe that would go nice outside, right next to the charcoal kiln here. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go ahead and rotate it around so the front is right there. Maybe place it like right in the middle here and then pull it forward a little. I don't know, something like that. And let's see, what can we craft in here? Yeah, so the fired bricks, it looks like that's all we have unlocked so far. And then those will essentially give us that new... Uh, roof block over here. Let's see, where is that? Yeah, roof tiles here. With the clay and the bricks. So that looks really nice. Those are a lot of those red roofs that we see on a lot of the existing structures and things. So yeah, with those two things out of the way, let's start questing over here in this area. So I think to start out, I'm gonna head to these two first here. I'm at the Ancient Spire in Revelwood. And we'll swing by the Elixir Thief one, and that is on the way to the Forge location where we get the Crucible for the Blacksmith. So we're just gonna glide off in that direction here. It's probably very near the Hunter Camp and everything. So let's see. We'll just keep heading over that way. Alright, so it looks like we have found a little path here. And this seems to lead up the hillside. So we'll see if this takes us anywhere. Looks like there's a village right in here. What is this area? It's actually quite a nice location. Maybe I should explore it. This is beautiful. The Blue Goblet Tavern. Oh, we've got a well over here and everything. This is actually really, really nice to know that there's a well over here. I know we can build them later game, but to have it here for early game adventures and things in the forest here as like a potential location to settle down. Uh, it's nice to know that there's a little tavern over here just for some resources every now and then. Ooh, this is really pretty actually. Look at this. This is a nice peaceful spot. 
Nice little fire and everything. Wow, this is a beautiful location. No enemies and everything out trying to get us for once. <laughs> we'll see if uh, there's any chests and things in here. Obviously lots of barrels. Looks like we have some nails and things there. Anything interesting upstairs? Just a whole lot of rooms and barrels, books, all sorts of cool stuff. This is really neat. Well, with that said, let's just continue up the hill. Maybe there's a road that continues off the back of this that could uh, put us a little closer to where we're trying to go. We're trying to get over this hill here. So maybe we have to go around this side of it. Let's see. Maybe that would be my guess. I don't know. Let's try to glide down. We're getting a little farther away from it, aren't we? Ah, I see a path over here in the distance. Maybe this will take us up and through. Yeah, this has got to be it here. Mark of Samoth. There we go. Oh, golly. All right. Oh, and we've got a boar over here. Let's try to... Let's try to do this here. Get a fireball. Oh, these do a ton of damage on the boar. Basically just one or two shots them. Take care of that guy. This one here. Yeah, these fireballs are awesome. There we go. It has such a big range as well. Take care of a few of them at once. Wow, those gave us quite a bit. Oh gosh, we've got we've got more stuff here. Nice! That just one-shot the wolf right there. Oh, this is great. Okay. Well, let's go through here. See what's interesting about this location. So, what does this place have to offer here? Oh golly! We've got a guy up there that's gonna shoot us with a bunch of explosives. No, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now we can explore in peace. Metal scraps and explosives from that one. Alright, anything over here? Not a ton. This is a really cool path that kind of goes through the forest here. I really like this spot. This is kind of neat. Alright, so we have a passage to read over there. Anything in this area? Looks like a bed. Lots of other random stuff. Okay. Well, it's nice that there's a bed there. Maybe we could sleep the night in this location. Well, let's see what this has to say. Samoth demands it. Listen, you lazy brutes. Our leader, Samoth, demands we dig more elixir wells. This will give us all the elixir we could ever need. It will be dangerous work, but the risk is surely worth it. Dig, you fools, or face the wrath of Samoth. Okay. So this is what they were trying to do over here, was create another elixir well, it looks like. Ah, we've got... There we go. <laughs> Took care of at least one of them up there. I think this guy's pretty low here. There it is. Awesome. So it looks like this is how we kind of continue up through the woods here. Anything interesting over here? Lots of old barrels, crates, lots of copper. This is the copper here, yeah, so it's a lot more greenish and things. Another little search area. Ooh, nice. Hardwood. Alright, I know we had some of them up there, so we'll see what's up there here in a second. We've got a bunch of places to go here, actually. Which is pretty cool. More explosives in that. Make our way up here and see what's up in this area. Ooh, spooky area. Sort of a mine shaft that loops around. Ooh, this is neat. Got a chest, another shepherd's lightning here with 29 power. Alright, that's one better than the old one I had, I think. Um, but yeah. So there's that chest. More stuff on the little shelf over there. And we probably have more. Yep, we've got more people up here waiting for us. Let's see if I can get that barrel. Yep, I got the barrel. Did I get... Nope, didn't quite get this guy. Alright. Just headshot him out. There we go. Anything over here? Wow, this is really neat. I love this spot. Oh gosh. Okay, what do we have in here? 
It's like it's it's the shroud, but it's not. We have a passage there to read. This is interesting. Oh, another wolf over here. Just a level one though, it looks like. Anything in this chest? Another explosive there. Wow, lots of stuff here. This is a really cool cave too, if we wanted to like build in it and stuff. Let's see, what's what's down here? It's a little dark. Ah, another nice chest. These are always good. Wow. Looks like that maybe loops back down and around. Warrior boots. Well, that's nice. I don't have any of those yet. Those look pretty cool. Alright, let's go read this passage that was over here. See what this place is. A new leader. Samoth has been slain. His body rots. Tied to the mycelium pillar as a warning to all. We will elect a new leader. One who will not rule by fear and gluttony. One who will be just and truthful. The elixir will be ours. Wow. So Salmon's body was tied to this pillar. Somewhere. Looks like maybe it was all overgrown and everything. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, I guess uh, that was the end of Samoth. And let's head down this way. See if this does actually loop around if I head down the little path right here. Oh, yep, there's another guy over here. A couple of them, actually. Alright, there's one. Ooh, man, these guys do a lot of damage. There we go. More arrows. What does this guy have? More water and metal scraps? And yeah, it does look like this just loops right out and around. With a little trap there to avoid. Yep, here we are. So we're back at the beginning section. So what happens if we go up this direction? There's another cave over here. So many of these. Does this loop around somewhere? Anything over here? Got a barrel with something there. Another explosive in it. Okay. Yep, and this comes back out at the top here. Alright, let's try to... Get that guy with a fireball here. Maybe that wolf over here too. There we go. Ooh, nice, okay. So now we just keep heading this way, and then yeah, it looks like it kind of continues up. And we'll get closer and closer to the blacksmith thing that we were after there. Gosh, so many caves, so much stuff here to be explored. So I'm guessing we just keep going up. Grapple across here. Oh gosh, okay. Another one of these guys. There we go. And yeah, we are definitely getting higher now. Looks like there's something over in there. A big copper deposit right there. A ladder up to here. So much stuff. This is crazy. Okay. More explosives. This is quite the neat location. I love the little bridge over here. All of the, like, steps in the terrain here. Alright. So yeah, let's climb up this ladder first, maybe. See what this is. Well, we have another cave over here. So where does this lead? Looks like this just kind of loops around. Ah, back to this area here. There we go. And we've got another... Another little cave over here. Which looks like it then again loops back around. Ah, to this area, okay. Let's hit E for the merciless attack. Boom! There we go. Amazing, okay. So that guy's taken care of, and then, yeah, here we are. Back over that terrain bridge here. And is there anything cool in this direction? There's a lot of traps. Oh gosh! They were all a bunch of mines and things. 
Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't uh, trigger a bunch of those. Alright, so yeah, let's head across here then. And let's see, do we continue? Maybe we continue this way? This has got to be... This has got to be something. Okay. Let's get this wolf out. There we go. And this one over here. There we go. Okay, yeah, this has got to be the way, I think. Although, our map marker is showing, yeah, we're kind of going this way, and we have to go this way. So I don't need that as a waypoint anymore. We need to get to this forge location. So maybe we can get to that through this tunnel here? But I guess we'll see. I don't even know what's in here right now. It is very, very, very dark. Cave passage, okay. This must be what we're looking for then. Oh gosh, okay. Yep, we've got lots of wolves over here. Youch! Oh golly. Oh man, okay, yeah, I'm getting really low. Need another strawberry here. Regen a little bit of health and I might need to grab my health potion in my inventory here. Just for safe measure. There we go. Alright, so where do we get down? Do we go down over here? Is this a way down? I can hardly see a thing. This place is really, really, really dark. I'm not sure where we go or where this cave passage heads. We have... Oh, we're just normal and shrouded, okay. So it looks like that was deadly shroud there. So... Where, where am I going? It's so dark here. Okay, there's a grapple point right there. Do we go down through here? Ah, this has got to be it. Yep, this has got to be it. Okay. Something over here, at least. I have no clue where I'm going. Oh gosh, we've got a- we've got a dude over here. Youch, one of these guys. Oh no! He's completely resistant against this stuff. Oh gosh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. We got- we gotta get back and repair my sword here. This is not good at all. Let's pull ourselves over to here. Try to get out of this shroud and put a flame altar down. Because yeah, that- that wand does nothing against them. Okay. Alright, now we have our sword again. Let's see how this- yep, well it's better. Not great though. Golly! This guy is crazy. Oh my gosh, okay. What if I just run away for a bit? I don't know. This is just nuts. Go ahead and drink a health potion, maybe? So he's not... He's completely resistant to fire. Man, I don't know what to do at this point. This is insane. Just try to run away again and... Maybe regroup myself? Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Oh golly. <laughs> Man, maybe I shouldn't have chose the cave passage. Well, at least we'll respawn right over here where I put my altar again. Go and grab my stuff. There it is. Okay, so he's resistant to basically everything I have. What about... I have any other weapons on me? Maybe I should equip the ice? Is he weak to ice? I, I mean, it's worth a try anyway. Let's go a little farther down again. If I can see anything. This is crazy. Here we go. Oh, well, there he is. Okay, ice. Still resistant. Okay. So yeah, ice does nothing. I, I don't- I don't think this guy is, like, very killable at all. <laughs> Maybe my explosives? And we can just kind of use the shield. And then keep parry him. Okay, maybe this will work? Youch! Okay. And that's the end of me again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Okay, here we go. I think I'm almost there. We just lured him up close to the bridge here. I'm just using my ice staff here. So this thing better drop something good. Ah, uh, nothing! Okay. I feel like they really, really did not want us to go through here then. 
This is, uh, this is quite interesting to me. I can grab my stuff back and just see if this cave passage actually goes anywhere. Because that, that fight was, like, insanely hard. Unless there's something else that, like, I'm totally missing. Oh, here we go. This spits us out on the other side. Oh, and of course it spits us out in the shroud. Where even are we now? We are very far away from our goal. Okay. Well, I guess that was the wrong idea. <laughs> we didn't have to come through the cave passage after all. Um... <laughs> Well, I guess you live and you learn. Now you guys will know that, uh, unless you want to get to the shroud over here, which maybe we'll need to do later, uh, we definitely did not have to take out that big boss guy just yet. So I'll just go ahead and go back. So it looks as though for this blacksmith one here, the forge location, we need to get, like, over the mountain or something, because I can't get through here unless it's, like, through this copper. Which it may very well be. Let me grab my explosives. And, uh, I don't know. Blow through this. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, that's just, that's just stone and stuff. This is like the closest we are at 35 meters away. So it's gotta be somewhere over here. Maybe it's down another level? So I see this area. Can we go, like, back there? Maybe it's in this tunnel? Yeah, we are so close to it. I think we already took out this chest up here. Ah, there's something we can read up there. Yeah, so maybe we haven't been in this area. Okay, well, it looks like we have, because I clearly collected the stuff out of that chest. There's something back through that rubble there. This has got to be it. We're two meters away. All right, let's read what this has to say. We can also go ahead and repair all our equipment here. Alright, uh, there we go. Read. We have dug too far. Salmoth, your greed for elixir cannot be quenched. You keep it to yourself when you said you'd share, you liar. We, your people, die for you in those tunnels. For what? We banish you from our midst. Go now, or we will show you the strength of our numbers. Find your elixir somewhere else. This is our mine. Okay. Well, there we go, and it looks like we've got some rubble here, and something on the other side of this rubble. In one of these tunnels. That's gotta be it. Collect. There we go, the crucible. A smelter and two more at the blacksmith. Nice, and the smelter is probably how we make those copper bars. Yep, there you go, copper bar at the smelter. Perfect, because I was wondering uh, what that recipe would be unlocked. New quest, crucible needed for a smelter. Is that, uh, is that something else? So let's go to journal. Crucible needed for a smelter. The crucible is found. It needs to be craft, crafted into a smelter at the blacksmith in order to unlock more recipes. Okay, cool. So we actually have to make it into something. Interesting. Well, with that said, maybe I should head back to, uh, to the house and get that crafting. Yep, there's the blacksmith. All right. So what does he have to say? Time to craft a smelter. <laughs> ah, you've found it, my crucible. Huh? Was that journey too tough for you? Quit whining, Flameborn. <laughs> Rekindling a flame takes time and patience. Right now, just crafting that smelter will suffice. Let's get to work. All right. Yeah, I'm whining about making me go through that cave passage, Oswald. <laughs> All right, crafting, and there is the smelter. Fired bricks, we need 50 of them. Well, perfect, look at that. We made the kiln here to do a lot of the fired bricks, and we needed clay, lump of clay, and wood for those. I think I've got some of that. Uh, we have two fired bricks. Yeah, there's some lump of clay, and here's some wood. It looks like I will have to get some more clay, though. But we'll put what I have in there for the meantime. There we go, we'll let it do its thing. And yeah, I'll go mine some more clay, we'll come back uh, once the bricks are finished here. Okay, here we go, the bricks should be finished here. Yep, we've got 51 here, 54 with the ones I had before. So yeah, that should be plenty because I think we only needed 50 to craft the smelter. Yep, here we go. Alright. 
And let's go ahead and place that down. Let's see, maybe I'll put that right in this area. Something like that. And there we go. Quest complete. So, ooh, and yep, there we go. Copper bar. So it looks like that's the only recipe we have right now. We need a lot of coal and a lot of copper ore. But that's pretty neat that we can craft that. And with that, we should be able to make all the new armor in here. Yeah, we've got the tank set. And that looks awesome. So maybe we should get some uh, copper bars going here at some point. Oh, we need amber? Huh. Yeah, I don't have all the stuff for this just yet. What does the adventure set need? Just the copper, charcoal... Okay, so yeah, maybe we could make the adventure set then. Maybe I'll get some copper bars and stuff going for that. And then yeah, maybe we'll get that going. I also see that the... What was that? The farmer has something else to say here? Let's see. Ooh, a kettle for a fireplace. There we go. That's what I was wondering about a few episodes ago. Ah, lovely to see you. Listen, I'd love to cook for our crew. Raise the spirit. A fireplace with a kettle would help, but I gave mine to a friend when our caravan split. He was headed to Pikemead's Reach. Maybe we can ask for it back? Say hello to Raul for me while you're there, please. Okay. So, a new... Ooh, a new recipe unlocked. Yep. And, uh, let's see, the fireplace, and we need the kettle there. So let's go to the journal here, and yeah, fireplace for the farmer. So we can show that on the map, and it's all the way up here at Pike Means Reach. So yeah, that's a big boss fight, we won't be doing that today. Uh, but yeah, I might be able to go ahead and craft the new armor set at the blacksmith here soon. And then maybe we can head over to this area. Um, Grind Teeth Grotto, okay. We'll see what that is. Okay, we should have all the copper and everything else necessary to craft the adventure set here. So here we go. 23 physical, 15 magical for the helmet here. Melee critical strike chance. So there's that. Ooh, lots of physical and magical resistance for this and plus 120 health for the adventure chest piece. That's great. Plus 3% melee damage for the gloves. So lots and lots of armor, plus 45 health for the pants there, plus 2 health regeneration for the adventure boots. So that is a solid set of armor here. Let's just go ahead and equip, there we go, boots, gloves, pants, helmet, and the chest piece right here. And check out that armor set. Ooh, that's starting to look a little newer, a little nicer and less rough than some of the other armor sets here. That looks really cool, but yeah, check out the physical resistance and magical resistance with this. That is insane. And yeah, the health regeneration is awesome here. So this should be a really, really nice set. Uh, especially when paired with some of these other magical items, uh, like the wizard's hat here or things like that. So yeah, super happy about that. Another thing too uh, that I forgot to mention is I started a little flax farm over here. Alongside my little mushroom farm. And when I went ahead and harvested a bunch of this to make linen and harvested some of the mushrooms here to make uh, all these health potions, I, uh, the farmer has something else to say. And uh, she said she liked the mushrooms and now uh, she wants strawberries, which I have. So I'm going to give her some strawberries. Ah, the sweetness reminds me of the botanical paradise I call home before the drought. We barely got by while other cities were rumored to have too much. Glenwood's End, for example, was known for abundance. Even their landfills were speckled with riches. It's a shame the villagers went a little loony. They made great strawberry wine. Alright, ooh, a new location charted from doing that. Interesting, so what did we get now in our journal? A new quest here. So we have the fireplace for the farmer there. Time for harvest, this was the one here. Yeah, you gave the farmer strawberries. Their flavor reminded her of her old home. In exchange for the berries, she revealed the location of buried treasure. Okay, and Glenwood's End. So where is that? Ah, right over here, by a crucial investigation. So maybe we'll have to check that out uh, next time. So with that, I think we are now pretty much ready to head over to this area over here. And that will make most of this area of Revelwood explored here. And it looks like that there is pretty close to my little cabin over here. 
So we'll just begin heading in that direction. We might need to try to get around some of this cliffside here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it wants us to do. Maybe I'll go around the backside here. Which will end up putting me closer over to the farmer's vault, I believe. But then maybe there's a path to get up there? Yeah, there's the farmer. So, let's see. Maybe we just have to loop all the way around. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So there's the vault for the farmer. We're just gonna head off over this direction. Maybe we'll find a path that'll loop up to it. Somewhere up here. Looks like that might be a path right ahead. Yeah! Let's go ahead and follow that. That seems to be getting a little closer. Oh gosh, well we came across this little area on our way. I don't know what these are. Those do not look so friendly. Oh, there we go. Took care of those guys. Ooh, they dropped salt. Nice. And what's in here then? They were guarding this area. So let's go ahead and craft a lockpick maybe. Try to get in here. So what is this? We have a return beacon. Wow, this is pretty large. Does it say on the map? It doesn't say on the map right now. Metal scraps, water, handle over here. This looks to be some big crypt or tomb or something. Oh, let's continue onward. Ooh, here we go. Necropolis. Okay. Interesting. Another lockpick needed over here. Well, this doesn't look so good, and it looks like the quest we're trying to do, or the little map marker we're trying to go to, is, like, way, way over here, so... Well, at least these guys are not putting up too much of a fight, which is good. Another thing over on this side, we have a little chest. Explosives, a band-aid, okay. Well, let's head down here and see what this is. Does the wand do a lot of damage to these guys? I'm actually curious. Oh yeah, it takes care of them really quick. Okay. Well, let's just use that. This area is huge. So let's go through these doors right here. See what we have. Got one of these guys over here. And anything else It is incredibly dark. There's some doors there. Anything in here? Some metal scraps. Lots of little search areas. I can hear some of those lightning things behind that door there. So we'll head in there in a second here. Ooh! Gosh, this doesn't look so good. Is this an area we can safely go? It looks like we can. Okay. And, yep, here are some stairs to get us down here. Well, let's go down here then, for a little bit anyway. Oh gosh. What is this place? Ooh! Alright, when these guys do hit, they hit really fast. Looks like our new armor's doing really well, though. Okay. Man, this place is spooky. The heck is that? Okay. Lots more explosives. Good to know. Anything else? Ah, oh, we have a door all the way down here. So we could either go through this one or we could go through the one above it. May as well go through this one while we're down here. Ah, and that door needs a button to open. Interesting. Well, I was not expecting this place to be like this. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, Necropolis or Necropolis. Probably Necropolis is how it's pronounced. So yeah, I wonder where that button is. We will have to find that. And there's a coffin in there. So we'll have to keep this downstairs area in mind. And maybe we go through the door that was upstairs. I know there was one like over here. Yeah, right through here. So another lockpick. Ah, no space in the backpack. Alright. I'll just delete a few things. And let's give this a go. Ooh, gosh. 
This place is interesting. Let's just jump over that. Ah, here we go. That must be the button. So let's go back down now and see if that opened the door. Here we go. Door is open to this coffin. Anything in here that's gonna try to jump out at me? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're pretty safe down here. Okay. So what do we have in here? Another shepherd's staff. Interesting. Alright, so nothing really that we need. Well, this was an interesting location. Again, I'm not sure that this was the area that we were after, which is, uh, would very much interest me. Like, how are we supposed to get over where this thing is pointing for my little map marker? Because, yeah, we are right here currently, and we have to go up here. So, it might not be in this crypt. It might be something totally different, uh, which I'm guessing is the case. So, let me just check one more time in here to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yep, that's just the downstairs area. Alright, well let's exit this place and then see if there's another path or something we could pick up to bring us a little closer to that other area. So it's actually looking like this location is down in the shroud. Uh, it's just on the edge of this massive cliff here, and I went all the way up top the massive cliff, went all the way around, used all my explosives to blow like a staircase for myself to try to get up there, and there was nothing up there, so maybe it's down here? I'm gonna take my chances and hopefully not die in the shroud. But let's try this, because a lot of this also looks like deadly shroud. So I'm kinda hoping for the best here. Well, let's see. Looks like we can kind of get up. Oh, here we go. New location charted. So it must be in the shroud then, if that's the case. Do we get through here? Or what do we do? Ah, it's got to be back in here. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't die. Let's see what this is. There's another shroud route over there. Is that what it wants me to get? Does it want me to get that shroud route? You know what? I'm gonna get it anyway, because I know that those clear the shroud. Oh gosh, okay. So lots of little critters here. And yep, let's go ahead and clear this with the axe. Because I know that's going to... Nice! And we got a skill point from that. Cleared the shroud here, so that I can teleport out. Perfect. So this must be the location then. So what do we have over here? And what's so important about this location? That's what I'm wondering. Aside from lots and lots of critters. It's a really cool cave. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm wondering like what we do in here. Is it in the journal? Anything new in the journal? I don't think so. And then yeah, if I go to my map. Grind Teeth Grotto. So maybe it's just like a cave, because that's the icon it's giving me, is just a cave icon. Just like all the other icons that have just been like cave passage over here. So I'm guessing that's what it is, it's just this really cool cave area. And in the comments, uh, y'all can let me know if anything else that's really interesting is in here. But yeah, either way, this location definitely looks really, really cool. So with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode wrap here. Because we've explored a lot of the good stuff over here in Revelwood so far. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because I think I'll do a live stream next of uh, scouting out a really cool base location for a foresty Hobbit House village. And uh, a few base locations actually, maybe for like a forest village, a medieval village. And, uh, I don't know, we could just look around the map, do some exploring for a fun live stream between now and next episode, I guess. Shout out to all my channel members, be sure to join the Discord server through the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.